Hello, welcome to Star Mountain Hikes. I'm John, and today I'm at the No Man's Trailhead in the Klamath National Forest, and I'm going to hike up the Clear Creek National Recreation Trail into the Siskiyou Wilderness. Here is a little teaser on what you can expect. Whoa, that looks awesome. Let's hit the trail. like this make it really hard for me to keep hiking because I just want to stop and fish or stop and swim. Poison oak, white oak, campfire ring, and a picnic table just across the bridge. And the trail goes right by it. stream crossing. I don't think this is Clear Creek though. I think this is a side stream. How the heck am I not supposed to get poison oak going through this? I don't know if this is coming out on uh, video, but this looks like a well-worn bear path. Beautiful stream down there past the incense cedars. This might be the best example yet of a classic bear trail. This section of trail has been rough. I'm not looking forward to coming back down this way. Staying on the trail is becoming more and more interesting. All right, here's where I'm gonna camp tonight. I think I've only gone about five miles, but I, I think that's actually pretty good for the terrain, even though it took me seven hours. Whew, but man, that was tough. All right, all the camp chores are done. It's nine o'clock and I'm hitting the sack. It's warm enough that I don't even have my sleeping bag on right now. So I'm leaving the rain fly off the tent. Hopefully I'll see some stars and uh, the sound of the river next to me should make some good white noise. I think I'm going to sleep quite well. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning, everybody. 
It's now day two. Had a, a pretty decent sleep last night. I was up for a little while in the middle of the night and I had some leg cramps right when I tried to go to sleep. Uh, glad those are over. <laughs> but anyway, I think I've uh, nicknamed this area Ent Camp because the tree over my shoulder there kind of looks like an ant. A little bit. Anyway, I think I am going to stay here and recoup after yesterday for a little bit because I'm not going to lie, that kicked my ass. That was a lot of deadfall to crawl through and around and over. It was mostly oaks. Um, yeah, and it was brushy, poison oak. Oh, ew. That was not a fun hike and I'm not looking forward to going back through there. First of all, it took me seven hours from noon to seven o'clock to go about five miles. That's tough hiking. It was brushy, I mean, to the point where you could hardly see the trail two feet in front of you. It was um, down trees everywhere and they were all oaks crawling through them. That, that really makes the hike tough and it was uphill a little too. Not too bad, but there were some hills and some switchbacks and that sort of thing. I think if I just get some rest, then I can decide whether I want to continue up through this. It, I think it's possible that it may only be this difficult for another few miles. Let's say three, three and a half miles, something like that, until we get to, um, I think, the eight mile mark, which is the junction with the west branch of the Clear Creek Trail. And then another three miles or so after that is Wilderness Falls. And I think that might be my next goal if I continue. But if it was this hard, I would have, on the return trip, I would have to do this through 90 degree weather. It was 20 degrees cooler today than it will be at the end of the week. Um, according to the last forecast that I saw. Do I want to be doing this through 90 degree weather? I don't like the heat. I'm not a, a real fan of warm weather. That's why I'm loving living on the coast so much here in Northern California, Southern Oregon. Man, so I've got some decisions to make by tomorrow. But for today, I need a break. Um, I'm not in shape for this. gonna be dinner. Yeah, that, that got him. Those things used to decimate my yard in New Mexico as far as eating stuff. One of these guys can pick all the apples off an apple tree in one day. It's amazing. Okay, the Clear Creek National Recreation Trail, I believe, was built back in 1928 as fire access. But, uh, man, they, they did some craftsmanship on this trail that uh, rivals some national parks. Look at that staircase behind me. And did you notice the fire pit? That nice square fire pit? That was a built fire pit by the trail crews, I'm sure of it. There is another one just like it about a quarter mile up. I'm going to head up there and think about camping there just to get a little deeper in 
um, but yet not exert too much energy since I uh, exhausted myself yesterday. Um, there is a chance I may just keep going um, if I feel good. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I'm having fun exploring this very, very wild and uh, this wild location and, and this abnormally good solitude because I feel like I am just miles and miles and miles away from the nearest person here. Check out this camp. Look at that fire pit. It's like five by two feet, approximately. Well, five by 18 inches anyway. There's benches, a bench there with a rock for a backrest. That just looks comfortable. And the trail goes that way, it appears. Okay, so here's my next decision. Do I keep going? I actually feel pretty good. I mean, I'm a little sore, a little tired, but it could be worse. That's the hottest part of the day. It's a terrible time for hiking down here at this elevation. It's probably going to be 80 degrees today. And again, there's the question if I wait till Saturday and hike all my days, I'm going to have to be going through 90 degree heat um, back to the car. So the best thing would be to get back to this camp or the next camp and grind out the last five miles um, after camping for the night when it's cold in the morning. Because it actually got pretty cold compared to the daytime temperature. Warmed up fast. But uh, yeah, this morning was cold and I could definitely hike in that. That would be awesome. So... I could probably do it even with the heat and that sort of thing if I play my cards right. I'm thinking about keeping going. I'll, I'll think about it a little longer and I'll let you know. Because hiking in the heat like that could be a life or death decision. After a little bit of internal debate, I think I'm going to keep going. I have a hunch that the trail is going to get better after the junction with the West Fork Clear Creek Trail because the West Fork Clear Creek Trail and the Clear Creek Trail north of there is part of the Bigfoot Trail. So maybe the Bigfoot Trail Alliance has uh, done some trail work there. I'm hoping. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. There's no guarantees, that's for sure. I, I happen to know there's some pretty, uh, shall I say, unmaintained areas of the Bigfoot Trail. So, uh, let's, let's take a little bit of a risk and get a little closer to uh, Wilderness Falls and uh, Trout Camp, maybe even Young's Valley. For anyone possibly doing this hike in the future, right through here, just past Bear Pen Creek, on this little flat area next to the creek, there's a couple places where uh, Cairns Mark where the trail goes up the hill and they're kind of hard to find but you can see there's a switchback right there and it gets pretty steep let's go check it out this is going to be a hot one Okay, I've been following a gravel bar for quite a while and it seems to have run up. There's no trail here, so the only place it could be is up there and I doubt the camera really shows how steep it is. This is 90 degrees from my eye and this is uphill. It's probably about a 60-70% slope. And I gotta climb straight up. I'm running into a bit of an issue right here. There is a slide blocking my path here. Looks like a dangerous one too. I don't like this. The flowers are pretty. 
But I just do not like that the trail goes this way somewhere and I can't even exactly tell where. I think it's right up there behind that rock. But it's hard to tell. I'm going to have to think about this one for a minute because I could be taking my life into my own hands by going across this. I'm going to make the safe choice and turn back. I guess in order to see Wilderness Falls and Trap Camp, I'm going to have to come in from another trailhead. And that's fine. It's doable. It's probably more doable than this. <laughs> so anyway, now I know what's here. This is quite the rugged canyon. Certainly kicked my ass. But uh, yeah, I don't want to risk my life going across that. There's no really great footholds or anything. There's no trail dug across that. It's uh, it's not safe. Not while I'm out here by myself. One slip and I'm all the way down the hill to the creek with a broken leg or something. And that could be the death of me. I don't have an inReach. I don't have a communication device. I've really got to play it safe and uh, weigh every decision thoroughly. So I'm confident I'm making the right decision. Bottom line. I I've had enough of this. I can, I can visit the rest of the trail from the other side. I almost made it in. I'm about maybe a mile, mile and a half from the junction with the West Fork of the Clear Creek Trail, which is also the Bigfoot Trail. So I did pretty good considering the conditions, my age, my, my condition, <laughs> all that good stuff. So anyway, let's, let's head back. Let's go back to that last real nice camp and see if I want to continue from there or wait till tomorrow, which I'll probably wait till tomorrow. Now I can see why I didn't think this was the trail when I was coming up the gravel bar. This is what it looks like and where the trail came down the hill. In fact, I think that's the trail right up there. This is that long gravel bar I was talking about. It even goes down around that rock and then heads up the hill in the middle of this burn area in the hot sun oh joy okay it's about noon and i'm back to where i was originally gonna go anyway for my rest day so now i think i'll take that rest day i only hiked really for a couple hours i must say it's Rather nice to have some downtime, I was able to perform a minor procedure, removing a splinter. I do believe that I forgot to mention last night I had some Idahoan potatoes with some summer sausage chopped up and added in. And it, it didn't really hit the taste bud spot anyway. It was much needed calories, but uh, yeah, not the best dinner. I think for lunch I'm going to have some ramen and uh, chop up the rest of that summer sausage and get rid of it before it spoils. So I just took a little dip in this nice swimming hole right here. It was quite invigorating. You can tell that this water comes off the snow. And I spared you guys the old man taking off his clothes on camera bit. Um, well, you're welcome. dinner tonight. It's my wife's homemade lasagna soup, rehydrated. 
out in the field. I'll dehydrate it at home and rehydrate it out here. It looks pretty good. Let me give it a shot. Oh my gosh, it's fatty and delicious and rehydrated perfectly. Mm. Score that as a win. All right, I'm turning in a little early tonight so I can get up early in the morning. Uh, I was thinking about getting up at 5, trying to get out and on the trail by 6, and back to the truck by around noon. So that's the plan for tomorrow. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. Do you think they know I'm in here? Good morning. It's day three and I'm packing up and heading out at six in the morning. So, this is the trail. This is also the trail. You can see it down underneath here. Oh yeah, and this is the trail too. Not only is there down logs, but lots of poison oak around them. If you fall, you're not going to be able to miss the poison oak. All right, we have a crossing here at Bear Pen Creek. And the trail is going that way. All right, I'm going to stop for a second and uh, take a moment to share something I've been thinking about. I've been trying to come up with a way to make YouTubing more fun for me. I put a lot of effort into the videos and I haven't picked up a whole lot of subscribers over the years. I've been doing this since I think 2017 and uh, I think trying to go for the likes and subscribes and comments to boost the algorithm isn't really worth it for me. The reason I'm still doing this is because I love hiking and backpacking. I think from now on, you don't have to like, share, subscribe, any of that, please don't. I'm going to turn the comments off, I believe, and I'm just going to enjoy myself on the trail. I think the main reason why I make videos is so that I can relive my adventures and reminisce in the future about what I've done. That's what's fun for me. You want to see another part of the trail? This is it. Here's the trail and I was following bear tracks that all of a sudden turned off and went to a little bear bed right there. Pretty cool. I just saw something moving up ahead. Of course, the first thing that came to mind was a bear. Not even close. It was a turkey. <laughs> saw a wild turkey running through the woods, just right, right down the trail. Just one, though. I wonder where the rest of his flock is. Okay, here's the big crossing at Ten Mile Creek. Which means I believe I only have about a mile left of the trail. Woohoo! Making better time than I thought. Oh, that felt good. I uh, dipped my hat in the water and I took off my shirt and washed it at the risk of getting bitten by a hundred mosquitoes. It was worth it. Uh, it was so gross. The, the water coming out of the shirt was just like white with salt. Ugh. Anyway, uh, I'm almost to the picnic table. I think I'll take a break there. Okay, this isn't working. Those hundred mosquitoes turned into about a thousand around the picnic table. 
So I'm just gonna head on out of here. I thought I just smelled smoke. Anyway, I'll see you probably at the trailhead or at the bridge. Man, that's not good. That's not good at all. I think I see the start of a fire down there and I gotta get out of here. Here I go. I'm gonna run now. All right, I made it to the trailhead and I'm driving out now. As you can see, I didn't even film a ending sequence just because <laughs> it's time to leave. If I'm smelling smoke, it's there's a fire somewhere. It could be a long ways away or it could be a small one close by. You never know. I just think it's better to be safe and get the heck out of here. So uh, this ends episode one of my Klamath Mountains backpacking series. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, but mostly I just made it for me. So this is John signing off. Have a good one.